Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing a haul for you all for the first time uh, in God knows how long, honestly. Don't really remember the last time I did a haul. I mean, I guess you could say my what I got for Christmas video was kind of like a haul, but I mean, I didn't purchase that stuff for myself, you know, it was gifts. Anyways, for a lot of 2017, I really uh, wasn't shopping at all. Maybe for like a large portion of the first half of the year, but after fall of 2017, I just kind of was like, like, eh, I don't need any more things. Which is true, I don't need any more things. But alas, I have things to show you. And I've never done a video like this before. The first half of this is going to be a lingerie haul. And then the second half of it is going to be a thrifted clothing haul. And yeah, that's that. So let's just start off with the lingerie, shall we? I've never shown this kind of stuff on camera before. I'm very excited. I mean, I did like a bra video before talking about bras and the ones that I specifically wear if I ever do wear them, which are bralettes. So I have a couple of those bad boys to show you today. So my friends over at Adore Me sent me a lot to show you guys today. It's lingerie, PJs, all the things. And I'm very freaking stoked about it because guess what? Valentine's Day is coming up and I need something sexy to wear. That was really creepy. But honestly, I need to start off with what I got for Valentine's Day and um, it's freaking cute. And if you guys don't know what Adore Me is, they are a lingerie website. They also have obviously PJs, you know, stockings, all those kinds of things from petite to plus sizes. They're just all inclusive, body positive, everything. They're so good. And the stuff is such high quality. Like I'm so stoked about this set. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into it because look how freaking cute it is. It is like a nice pink and maroon and it has, you can't really see that well because I'm not gonna be trying these on. Honestly, I get some really appalling comments on some of my try on hauls. I mean, I'm gonna try on my thrifted stuff, but wearing bras and underwear on a camera is just kind of, oof, not my thing. I'll put photos on the screen of what the sets look like though um, so that you can see kind of the, the framework, if you will. So there's like a little hole in the front here. So you get that nice cleavage in there. It's also padded, which is great for a bralette. There's no wiring though, which is also amazing because frick wiring, never wear it. It's just lacy and flirty and fun. There's like a little bow on the front. It's just, oh, love it. And the other thing that I freaking love about this set is the high-waisted panty. I love high-waisted things. All of my like cute ass panties that I always wear are high-waisted. And I've also been doing this thing where sometimes when I wear like a low-rise jean, I'll have um, the top of my panties peeking out or my boxers most of the time it is. But if they're like nice and lacy and cute and not to like, hey, your panties are hanging out. You know, if it looks like more of a, it's supposed to be happening, I'll just wear them under some low rise jeans and let them peek out. So I'm stoked to do that with these and also freaking wear this on Valentine's Day because holy shit, it is hot. And Adore Me has like special offers every month, like different collections and things. So that first one I got from their Valentine's Day collection, as well as this number right here, I don't have many of these little, dresses. I would say it's a corset, but it's just freaking not. It doesn't have any of that kind of heavy duty wiring in it either. It's just a pretty little number. And I just love lacy things like this. I don't normally go for a red, but I'm like, heck, you know, tis the season, I guess. <laughs> What? But yeah, we got the bow at the top and the kind of crisscross going on between the tetas. It's such a lacy and pretty number. And it came with this little panty as well, which was a surprise to me. I didn't think it was coming with a panty. And it's just nice and lacy on the front and then kind of like mesh on the bum. This next set I also freaking love because it doesn't look like your normal lingerie. Um, from the front, it looks more like a sports bra, kind of. And then in the back is where the party's at. So it has like this nice crisscross lacing in the back and this is so freaking comfortable when I got all of this stuff in the mail I wore this for the entire day once I got it it also came with this little hipster pantsy black is my color okay like if I'm going for lingerie it's about nine out of ten times gonna be black so I guess I'll show you my other black option that I got this one is a lot sexier of a number specifically the top I mean wow so it is all lace and mesh on the front but it has this wonderful look when you put it on that just really pushes the tatas together like I was saying with that previous number back there, the maroon one. And I love that with a bra when it holds the girls in really well, not only that, but like gives them a nice push together. Love that. It also has like this crisscross kind of 
backing. And then of course, I got another high-waisted panty, and it's also all lace, all mesh, and very freaking sexy. And then it also has that kind of crisscrossing over the bum crack. All of this stuff is so fun. I've never really been one to get much lingerie, but I said, you know, when in Rome, this next set that I got is one of my freaking faves because of the color. This is my color, okay? Olive green, love her. I got this cute little thong. It's all lace with a little pink bow at the top. And yeah, it's just freaking cute, man. And the bra is like something that you would see at, dare I say, free people. It's just very similar to that kind of style. It's all lacy and just such a gorgeous piece. What the frick, you know? It's just, oh, wonderful. She is wonderful. This is definitely one of my favorite pieces as well, as well as this next one. Oh Lord, I think this is actually my number one fave because of the color as well. These are like my two favorite colors, honestly, to wear like a nice olive green, a nice baby blue. And this has this pale pink kind of detailing and it comes with this matching little panty as well, this little thong and I just love her. And now I guess I'll stop showing as much lingerie and get back into that at like the end and show you my PJs really quickly. Cause oh my gosh, super cute and sexy as well for being a PJ, you know? This is like a little nightgown here and I'm it just has that nice lace detailing and just stripey, comfy as heck. And I'm just so excited about this. And I love that baby blue color so much. I also got the set in a different option, which is the tank and the leggings. So the leggings are, oh my God, just the softest things in the whole entire world. I don't know what else to say about them. This shot, <laughs> unreal. But seriously, they are just the freaking best. This reminds me of something that like my mom has and would wear around the house. And I just picture myself like making breakfast in this ensemble, you know? This is just the tank top version of the dress. And it's just amazing. It has that nice crisscross back as well. Love the lace. And then the other little nighttime PJs I got were these olive green shorts with like pale pink detailing on them. I actually thought on the site that it was ivory detailing on them, but no, honey. It is pale pink and it is cute as heck. It also came with this matching little tank and oh, I just love this. This is also something that I feel like I would see at Free People and I would like wear this top out, you know? I wouldn't just wear it to bed. <laughs> It's friggin' cute. And then my last little adore me pick is another little lingerie number. And it's this pale pink with ivory detailing little nightgown, I thought, but I actually got this in like the only size that they had left, which is an extra small, which is too small for me to be a dress. So I'm gonna wear it as like a little tank to bed. It has these kind of crisscross like ribbon like um, straps and then they tie down here in the back. And then it came with this tiny little thong as well. And so all this being said, if you guys would like to sign up for Adore Me, I will have it as the first link in the description. They have two kinds of payment methods. You can either sign up for their VIP kind of subscription service or just pay as you go. But for either of those options, your first set is discounted with the link below. You don't have to commit to any like monthly memberships if you don't want to, but if you want to, you know, you can do that too. And obviously if you get some items and you don't like them, free exchanges, free returns, all of the things. So if you're in the market for some lingerie, hit them up. All right, now moving on to the next portion of this video, which is some current thrift items I have found. And I will be trying on these items as well. I just didn't really feel comfortable doing that with the lingerie. But um, I went to Goodwill when I was in Forest Grove, Oregon, and they had some nice finds. I found about four pieces and I'm gonna show them to you today. This first thing is kind of like, it was in the flannel section, but it's more of like a corduroy number and it has these snap buttons all going around on it. This is my color, okay? This is a color I wear all the damn time. I love a nice Nice mustard yellow and this was only like four bucks or something I was here for it I just love shopping in the men's section and finding a find like this you know just a gem and speaking of the men's section another shirt that I found in there was this button down that was just oh, stunning in color I mean get a load of this guy got some nice navy blue you got the red you got the forest green and I just love button downs like this that you can just tuck into a nice jean and just you know cuff the sleeves if you're feeling hip, whatever you want, kids. And then these last two items that I found at that Goodwill were both in the women's section. And I found this nice little patterned, it's kind of like a grandma top, I will admit. Like you would find this in your grandma's closet or like a little girl's closet. I actually thrifted something similar to this, but it was sleeveless when I was in high school. Um, I doubt you guys really remember that, but if you do, heck, leave me a comment down below. Who knows where that shirt is now? But I love this one so much. It's short sleeve, so that's nice. And then I just love to just tie it in the front, make it a little 
crop top, tie top number. Uh, that's really what I envisioned when I bought this. I was like, I'm just gonna tie it up. It'll be great. And then this last piece that I found there was these pantalones and they kind of remind me of like a beach pant, which is funny that I'm buying them now because I'm moving to Oregon, but alas. I still got them and they're still cute. Honestly, they make my butt look great if I'm tooting my own horn. I really just love a nice patterned, comfy pant. And uh, even if I'm not living near a beach, I think that these are cute. Honestly, can somebody tally the amount of times that I've said cute in this video? Everything is so cute. Okay, and then these last three items that I'm gonna show you actually aren't thrifted. I bought them at, you know, full price from various places. This first pair of pants I got at Shopping Cart in Ashland, Oregon because of my friend Ashlyn tab. She told me to go there when I saw her in Ashland on our last road trip. We went on a hike together and then she was like, dude, you need to go to shopping cart and look at their pant selection because it's like a grocery and health and wellness store kind of, but they also have pants and purses and pouches and all those things. So I found these pants. They are wonderful. They're not like harem or like drop crotch pants. They're just normal, but they are high-waisted and I have um, a pair of pants actually super similar to this, but in uh, like a lavender and ivory color and these are an ivory and maroon color and my other pair is like ripped and kind of tattered and stuff and these are just in prime condition right now. I love them. I just, I love a good comfy pattern pants. That's what I was just saying with the last ones, guys. I mean, get with it. And then this dress, dude. Oh my gosh. I also got this in Ashland and I got it at a store called Renaissance Rose. They have a lot of wonderful Renaissance-y clothes as well as just like fun stuff. They also do like pet adoptions from time to time. <laughs> but anyways, um, it's this olive green colored dress and it has these kind of like frilly sleeves and then the ties down the front. And the way that the material is, is my favorite part about it because there's just so much to offer in it. It is just, oh, it is such a gorgeously made dress. Oh my freaking gosh. Um, I actually wore this on Christmas Eve and I posted like an Instagram in this. So if you're wondering where I got it from, Renaissance Rose in Ashland, Oregon, man. If you're ever there, check out the store. Uh, they have this in a bunch of various colors there, but the green, like I said before with the Adormi stuff, it suits me, okay? With the hair, the pale skin, just goes all together. And then the last thing that I have to haul for you all today is these shoes that I actually showed in my I Love This Stuff video because I love them. I love these shoes so much. They are velvet Air Force Ones. I found them at Foot Locker at the Beverly Center here in LA um, because they're sold out most places online but I needed to show you them again because they're just they're an important piece in my wardrobe and they're just gorgeous they have like satin laces they're just freaking they're everything I could have wanted in a shoe ever and I just love a good Air Force One you know most of the time when I'm not wearing Air Force Ones I'm wearing like a boot of some sort and those are really the only shoes that I switch in between and out of <laughs> But yeah, man, this was all the new stuff that I have in my wardrobe to show to you. And I felt like we needed to have this and I needed to show you all of these pieces because I love them all so much. And it just, I, it's been so long since I did a haul, okay? And it was just needed. I needed to like purge this out of me. And I just hope that you guys enjoyed this video, okay? <laughs> if you did, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Ring the notifications bell if you wanna be notified when I upload. And until that next upload, stay smiling. Bye guys. Hate sometimes I can't go home now. It just ain't the same on the phone, no. But everybody's gotta go, don't they?